Welcome to the Layman Seminary. Today, as you see, there's not a Filipina in front of me. In front, it's my friend, uh, Rafe. Rafe, uh, um, want to say hi and introduce yourself? Um, hey. Yep. Hi. Well, as he said, my name's Rafe. I've known Charles for a long time, a long time, before the Layman Seminary actually ever existed. Yeah, I think it was about 2014. Around yeah, that something like that. Uh, and so we've studied the Bible a lot together uh, before then and, and still after the existence of the seminary. Uh, and so basically everything he knows, he's, he's taught me and I've tried to, I've tried to consume it as much as I can. And so we, you know, we've studied anything from biblical theology to Greek together. Uh, a little bit more about me. I'm a bivocational Bible teacher at my church where I teach Sunday school every week and I preach one to two times a month. And uh, so I enjoy serving God's church. And my ultimate goal is to uh, serve in the church as a pastor one day and also to help Christians on the internet study God's word more efficiently. Amen. And uh, um, so, you know, I think we, the way we met was in a Google's Hangouts, you know, mm -hmm. and I remember that I'm, we were we were first talking about uh, how we're cessationists, you know, rather than sensationalists, <laughs> and uh, um, so that was good. And then uh, you know, being that I'm a Baptist and and you're a Reformed Baptist, that that helps as well. But like I think you already pointed to it, you know what what helps us is that even though we don't agree on everything, we both have the same methodology, the carefulness when it comes mm -hmm. to scripture. And also, I kind of think you sold yourself short because you have developed so much uh, theological understanding and apologetics and, and all those types of things from, uh, well, just mention that real quick. How did you, how did you learn all that stuff? Well, uh, at some point in my early years of being be of a, be a believer, so maybe around five or six years uh, after becoming a believer, I just got it in my head that if I really wanted to know the Christian faith, I, I couldn't wait around for anybody in the church to teach me because that wasn't happening. I knew there was deeper stuff out there to know, so I figured I have to just get in it, and it's going to be really deep and wide, but I'm going to have to figure out how to swim in it uh, through through studying it constantly. And so that's what I did. I think I first started out with apologetics. I started out, my first apologetic book was by William Lynn Craig. Uh, and from there, I studied apologetics for a long time. Um, and then I got into more theology and started studying theology. My first book on, for theology was uh, the Christian Theology Second Edition by Millard Erickson. Second or third edition, I can't remember. And from there, uh, I kind of figured out what I believe slowly about my theological stances of things. And then my, uh, my library got more narrow as far as its focus of theology and authors. And then I, uh, then I, when Google plus came around, I was able to find more people that held my views and people that held other views that were uh, good to talk to. And, and that's where I met Charles. And so it's really, it's just been a constant studying and investigating. That's how it came about. Okay. And so you mentioned about basically not having anyone early on. Yeah. You know, how does that affect your whole philosophy of ministry or what you're trying to do in your own ministry? Yeah. So I grew up in different churches, uh, in about two. And so the one that I was in when I was a teen, there, there wasn't a, any kind of emphasis on doctrine or theology it was all life application stuff. There was no kind of theology behind it. And so it was weak sauce. And so because I grew up in a place where nobody helped, I had to do everything myself as far as trying to figure out from others and myself what the Bible said. Uh, my philosophy is, is, uh, is how to tr uh, train other people to uh, correctly understand the Bible and research and write and do all kinds of other things to the best of their ability so that they don't have to rely on other people. I mean, um, so, um, I heard, I've, I've been going through, uh, Michael Patton's theology project, uh, recently. 
and uh, just listen to those videos. And, you know, he says a lot of things that I think the Lehman Seminary concept is related to. He's basically saying, rather than putting things on the, the, the lower shelf, as they say, you know, mm -hmm. we're trying to take complex concepts and break it down where anyone can understand. So would you say that, that you yourself, you're a testimony of that if you have the desire the, and the willingness and seeking God in it, that, that the most complex things can, can be understood with the help of the Holy Spirit? Oh, yeah, because when I started, I knew nothing. I didn't know anything. And it was a gradual process. It took a long time. And it, it took God's providence and helping me find different resources, different pastors, professors, and different people to interact with. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but because I had the desire, uh, God, God granted me the grace to do it. And he was, he taught me over time, uh, the things that I needed to learn. And then from that foundation, I was able to gradually get deeper and deeper. Do you feel like you learn something every day? Oh, of course. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I definitely feel that every single day. Most pointedly, how much I don't know. And, you know, and that's why, you know, I talk about Janet a lot, not just because now she's my wife, but yeah. just because of the, her passion and desire to know the truth, you know, and, and um, that, that, that that's what the whole layman seminary concept is about, is that anybody should have access to God's mm -hmm. word. And uh, I think that you're an example of that, you know, that just because we don't have discipleship at a younger age does not mean that we cannot, you know, through God's sovereignty, he directs us and leads us to that. Um, you mentioned in the video a while ago about Greek. Um, can you tell us what your experience has been with Greek? I know you've done some of the videos with me. Yeah, I have. And I've done, you know, I've, I've done some of the videos with you. I was off. We, we have also studied Greek together. Uh, Mounts and, and David Allen Black and uh, probably some other things as well. I've studied, I've, I've studied the Greek probably for a few years now, off and on, and it's been a challenge. Uh, I, I know, I know a lot of things that are helpful, but I'm definitely not through first year yet. Okay. Um. So far as your learning style, um, and weaknesses and strengths, yeah. uh, what 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 can you say about that? For well, yourself, what you know about yourself. Mm, well, when it, so when it comes to so Greek versus uh, theology would be different. So Greek, for instance, uh, I, I have to see it and see it and see it and see it again and see it demonstrated multiple times and do it myself after I see it demonstrated uh, for me to really grasp it. Uh, for some reason concepts of theology, systematic theology, biblical theology, even uh, if I learn it, it comes easier to me to remember than something like Greek. Uh, so I am a visual learner sometimes, uh, but other times I, on certain subjects, I, I have to see it again and again and again and actually uh, do it. Okay. Um, so if there was one piece of advice or a little bit of advice that you would give to our audience. Uh, I'm f we're fixing to make two other videos. I realized I didn't have my light on in my house, so I don't know how dark this is going to end up being. I think it'll be But uh, um, uh, I'm going to interview you about your Sunday school preparation and also your sermon preparation. But if there's anything that you want to leave with the audience, um, what yeah. would that be? Well, I would say no matter what, position you're in as far as studying God's word and no matter what skill position you're in as far as having the skills stick with it pray and ask God to help you and he will but it's going to take your consistent determination uh to to make it happen God will meet you where you're at he will give you the grace because he wants you to study his word and he wants you to understand it and know it but you're going to have to uh, be consistent and apply yourself 100%. And if you do that, God will bless you. He will, God will bless the word that you study and you will over time, uh, become a, a better under, have a better understanding of, of scripture and a foundation to then go learn deeper things. Amen. Okay. Thank y'all very much. Um, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell if you want notifications, give us a thumbs up and share this with others. And, and, 
please check out the new videos that we're fixing to make uh, for uh, uh, interviewing Rafe. God bless.